asked him any questions about the dog work. Uh, yeah, really good question. So one, it depends on the trainer. Two, it depends on the dog. So uh, if you get a litter of hunterways or heading dogs, um, then you really do need to pick out the right ones that are actually going to work for the sheep. But once you do find a good one, it's going to take around about a year to train your heading dog and around about two years to train a hunterway. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so Chris here, I cannot do my job without him. Okay, I cannot do my job without Cruz either. Absolutely essential to any farm here in New Zealand. Uh, he doesn't always listen, but who does? <laughs> okay, nobody's perfect, especially our dogs. He doesn't require a contractor or a pay ticket at the end of the week. What he does require is a bowl of food and a pat on the back, and we're told he's an awesome dog and he's done a good job. But of course he wants a bowl of food. Okay, so that's, that's pretty easy to keep him happy. Now, you may have noticed here we've got some coloured heads on our sheep. You may be wondering what is that all about? We're going to be drafting our sheep out into these colours. So we've got pink heads, we've got blue heads, and we've got blonde heads. These are the three groups we're going to put our sheep into today. So I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on what we're going to do first. And anybody that wants to give me a hand with this job, you're more than welcome to, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one person standing here, one person standing here, one person's going to do the pink heads, one person's going to do the blue heads, and the blondes are going straight. I see I've got a key little volunteer here, give them a round of applause. Who do you want to help? Is there, is there anybody in the audience who would like to give them a hand? Go on down, bro! <laughs> give them a round of applause. Fantastic. All right. I'd love you to meet your John. Oh, wait, hey. what's your name? Louie. Louie, Louie and John, fantastic. Awesome to meet you guys. Okay, so come and have a quick squiz at our sheep. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, all I wanted to make sure was that you had a good experience and you kind of felt how powerful these sheep really are. Okay, once they get going down this track, they're not going to want to stop. But when you're talking about doing this commercially, you could be doing between 12,000 and 8,000 sheep. There's a lot of sheep to try and get through in one day. Now the pen that we use there is going to be replaced with a size of pen out there. It's going to hold around about a thousand lambs and eight to nine hundred fully grown ewes. Whereas here, he's going to run them through at seven hundred sheep an hour. And generally, there's only one person on the gate. It looks a little bit like this. You will do that for one hour. Your arms will feel like jelly by the end of it, and your brain will want to turn to sleep and go mush. So it's super important you do take your breaks. Now, Louie, my man, if you do get one wrong, you're the one that needs to go in amongst thousands of sheep, find the one you got wrong, drag it on back, and put it where it goes. Oh. <laughs> and you're going to do that on your time, your morning break, and your lunch time, and your afternoon break, until you get it right. <laughs> All right? So you're going to do it on your time, not my time. This is how we learn how to draft pretty effectively. Okay. All right. So when the sheep are coming through the raceway here, you're not going to be looking at pretty coloured heads. What you are going to be looking at are tags in the ear. One tag in the ear, sorry. Okay, this tag's going to tell us three really important things. It tells us who the sheep belongs to. The farmer's initials are going to be imprinted on that tag. The colour of the tag's going to tell us how old the sheep is. Okay, last but not least, we do need to know whether or not we have a boy or a girl. Really important when it comes to sharing, guys, because boys have a little pistol in the middle of their belly. Can't go zooming down over top of it. You are going to do a lot of damage to it. All right. So everything folds over to the left hand side when we're dealing with boys. But um, yeah, super important that we do get this right. Okay.